A special thanks to MyHeritage for sponsoring today's video. MyHeritage is a leading global family history and DNA service that makes exploring your family's history easier than ever. It also covers more regions than any other test. It is so easy to use. All you have to do is do a simple cheek swab that takes only two minutes. Once you send in your test, it will help you see a breakdown of your origins based on 42 supported ethnicities and 2,114 geographic regions. It also offers DNA matches to help you find relatives. So what do you think yours is gonna be? <laughs> you know, so I know I'm German and I think I'm Dutch uh -huh. and maybe some like Irish. I think it's gonna probably come back saying that I'm at least 80% African. Guys, we finally got the results in. Super excited to find out what our ethnicities are. This is great. I've always wanted to do this. All right, Travis, ready to explore your ethnicity. Right. You know what? I am ready. Let's go. Here you go. I'm nervous. Travis, you are? 70% English. 70% English. Okay, 24% Scan Scandinavian. What? 2.9% Irish. Point, Scottish. Okay, so I knew I was Irish and Scottish. I knew that in Welsh. And then 2.2% Middle Eastern. Ooh. Okay. Middle Eastern? 0.8% Central Asian? Did you expect yourself to be 2.2% no Middle Eastern? Though? I had no idea I was 24% Scandinavian. Latoya, right. you are... Oh. Nigerian? Hmm, interesting. 38.7% Nigerian. Sierra Leonean. Leonean. Irish, Scottish, and Welsh. Hey! I'm 10.9% Irish, Scottish, that's, and Welsh. That's what I was. So we had the same amount in West African. Wow. So in 24%, six more ethnicities. Like, that's a lot. Finland, Spain, Algeria, like Libya, Egypt, wow. Kenya, Ethiopia. Okay. DNA matches. Oh, wow. First cousin, first cousin, second cousin. All right guys, we had so much fun finding out our origins. We were actually surprised. We hope you can join us in the fun by clicking on the link in the description below or use our coupon code TNT for free shipping. As a bonus, you can start a 30 day free trial of MyHeritage's best subscription for family history research. You can even enjoy a 50% off discount if you decide to continue. All right guys, don't delay, get you a MyHeritage kit today. Can you give us a smile? I don't think she likes it. <laughs> I can't get her to like the swing to save her life. Look at her Come little on, feet. like the swing Hi, already. Babies. That's how she looks. It's like this. She looks like this. Crazy. <laughs> Grace, can you make a different face? Somebody you got a cute. little bath yesterday. You are cute, my little pretty You girl. see the ditch of her hair? It made it all like wavy. Look, it's kind of wavy now. She got wavy hair. I gave her a little cool hairstyle. You like that? Little little side action there. You ever wonder if kids are like, when you're in their face and you're talking to them, they're like, oh my God, your breath stinks. You ever think they think that? We're all in their face and we're like, hi baby, hi. And then they're probably <laughs> like, she looked oh, away. <laughs> hi, hi, hi bees. You see, maybe it's like, maybe she's like, mom, you're dang your breath stinks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there she goes. Hi, here's a nice smile. Hi. So I told you guys this story the other day about Breeze, um, and you guys gave your opinion on it, but for those of you who have not heard this, I will tell it again. Um, I went to this place, I'm not gonna say the name of the place, but um, it was a, a service that they rendered to me, um, a beauty service. And while I was there waiting, um, I had, Breeze with me in the little um, car seat and I, I brought it in and there's this lady that was there and she was kind of just, you know, looking at us and, you know, she stared at us for a little bit but I didn't think anything of it. So she finally says, hey, you know, very cute baby, whatever, are you babysitting? And I was like, no. At first she goes, oh, really? And I said, yeah, this is, this is my two month old Breeze. And she's like, it couldn't be. And I was, uh, I was a little taken aback by it because not only, that wasn't my first time hearing that, I will say, but a lot of people that encounter us together don't believe she's my child. And at first it was, I didn't think anything of it. I'm just like, whatever, I let it roll off my back and I don't say anything about it. But like now it is becoming, it's becoming more prevalent because more people are saying it. And it is the craziest thing ever. 
because I know that she is mixed and she has very fair skin and I happen to have melanated skin, but it's becoming kind of crazy. And not only do I get that out in public, but I've also seen a lot of comments in the comment section saying, oh my gosh, that baby is pure white. It's not Tori's at all. It's how, you know, Travis had that baby. It's really hard to be told that a baby is not yours because it happens to be a different color. I birthed her. Guys, you saw the video of me giving birth to her and still to this day, I get the comments, I get people out in public and saying that's not your baby. I could see people being like, being like, wow, wow, she's so much lighter than you, right? Mm -hmm. But I, I, don't, I don't see how someone would be like, oh, are you babysitting or that's not your child? You know what I mean? Because I guess people when I'm out and about and they see me with her, they don't grasp the fact that her father is white, right? Which would be you. They just think like, maybe they think I'm, I I stole this baby or something, I don't know. You know what, that could be where they're getting at because they, they're so inquisitive. Like, what are you doing with that baby? And it's like, it's mine, I had her. Is it really any of their concern? Yeah, I mean, I guess. It's a you, weird you, question You never know, you never know today. Like, people people do steal babies. I mean, it, it's it's crazy out That's there. That's true, so. I can get, but, I get that. But still, I still think that they shouldn't even just ask that. They should just assume that it's your child. Or it's, mm -hmm. that it, I guess, not even, if they thought it, don't even say it. Just you, they don't know. You just move on. Exactly. Well, why they even say anything? Ex there you go. That, see, that, I guess I guess that's what I'm trying to get at. It's mm -hmm. like, why would somebody even say that? Just maybe think it and just don't say it, right? Yeah. Sometimes like the best things are left unsaid. Yeah. <laughs> Guys, Breeze, I will tell you this. She is the happiest baby you'll ever meet. She has been so happy lately, and I think on I think when she, when you were talking or when we were talking, she was smiling. I don't know if you saw yeah. that. She's she so she's so like attentive. Uh huh. She's Hi, a sweet little baby. Hi, pretty girl. She's so sweet. Hi, pretty girl. <laughs> uh, okay, so what's new? What do you do? Hold daddy's hand. Can you hold daddy's hand. She likes mm -hmm. to hold hands. Yes. And she's got cute little feet. She's got pretty little eyes. Mm -hmm. Her hair color. Da, 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 da. Isn't that cool? Hi, Breeze. She's very alert. Yeah. Da, 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 da. For only two months, yeah. she's very da, 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 da. alert. Is she my twin? Yeah, she is definitely your twin. But that's okay. I just think it's kind of rude for people to look at me as her mother, which I am a black woman, and say to me that she can't possibly be mine. That's the craziest thing in the world. And it's interesting because looking at my ethnicity, I've got, what, 12% of Welsh and there's, what is it, Scottish? Do you tan at all, babe? I do, yeah. Let yeah. me see. Hold up, pull, pull up my sleeve. Oh yeah, I can see the difference. You're more, red. you turn red. Yeah. You actually don't tan, you just turn no, red. No, I'll, I'll turn, I'll turn like tan. No, I don't turn like dark, like brownish. Mm -hmm. I turn kind of, as you can see right there, that's how I turn. You turn, say, look at you trying to, you trying to show I'm off. I'm trying to show off. I'm and holding Guys, the look at this, he's like, Go and pull up my, my sleeve no. a little bit more. So, so, you're trying so, to show off those so muscles. You can see, no, if I'm trying to show off, I'm Guys, like he's that. trying to show off those muscles. But you know what, baby? Like you should show them off. Go ahead and show them what you've been working with. That's all I got, Ooh. baby. I wait, 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 wait. Do that again. Do that again. That looks good, babe. Shut up. You're you doing too much. It does look good. I like it. Let me see your arms. Dang, baby. Ooh. <laughs> you look sexy. Okay. For once and for all, tell the people, because this is another question that's so asked it's crazy but who is the the person on your arm there is a female's name on your arm who is that person that's because my sister. yes but tell them because they think it's like another woman no that's my sister show them on, on this it's arm. on this arm guys and if you guys are wondering who my sister is and what she looks like this is her right there yeah that's his sister wait i don't know if it's is it getting it okay you gotta come this way there you go there we go. Aw, she's so pretty. She had really uh, blonde hair too. Mm -hmm. She has blonde hair, blue eyes. Do they look alike? Do, do your sister and Breeze look alike? <laughs> kind of, huh? Yeah. But but Breeze has dark hair. Breeze has darker hair, yeah. Cool. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put this down real quick. One thing that really, really stinks is my sister would have absolutely loved Winter and Travi and Breeze. So that's one thing that's kind of sucks. It's like, man, I wish I wish she was able to meet, you know what I mean, Travi, Winter, Breeze, but because she'd yeah. absolutely love them. I've actually never met my grandparents on my mother's side, so I don't know what they were like. I don't know, you know, anything much really about them too much. 
Um, I do know that my mother, um, she doesn't speak of her a lot because it's kind of a tragic thing that happened. Well, not kind of a tragic, it's a horrible thing that happened. I do know that there was a tragic incident that happened um, when my mom was 18. She and her, her mother were in a car together and um, they ended up getting into a, a car wreck, a collision, and it ended up killing my grandmother, but my mom ended up surviving. So I never got a chance to meet my grandmother or my grandfather on my mom's side, which is kind of sad. It makes me, it makes me want to cry. So yeah, so I never got a chance to, to meet them. So I kind of know what it's like for you to have your sister never meet your children. Um, and I never met my grandparents. Are you ready to go, Breeze? Are you ready to go get sister? <laughs> Are you ready to pick up winter? Say yeah, 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 mommy. All right, guys, so we're going to pick up winter. I know you guys are wondering where winter is. Um, for those of you who are new to the channel, winter is our two-year-old daughter. She has started school, yay! So she's currently at school right now. We're going to go pick her up and grab some dinner. Yeah, actually dinner time now, wow. It's just a kind of a chill day today. It's extremely hot outside. It's like 180 degrees outside or something like that. Um, well, at least it feels like it. Um, comment down below guys, has it been hot where you are? I mean, it's just been so hot in Texas, everywhere. It's like you go outside and you literally melt. Every once in a while, you know, even though it's super hot outside, we try to step our little toe outside, even if it's just for a little bit and get some vitamin D um, from the sun. But um, anyway, we are gonna see you once we get winter. She was crying. She was crying? Yes. What? Yes. You were crying? What she got on her mouth? What do you got on your mouth? Um, she got like some kind of food. I tried to wipe it off. That's what I need to wipe. I tell you what, they sure do make them drink a lot of water here at the school. All right, sweet baby. All right, thank you, Daddy, for getting her in the seat. Woo! All right, guys, we're back at the barbecue place that we were at a couple weeks ago. Look at that. Woo! I got some green bean casserole, potato casserole. We got some baked beans. We got some gluten mac and cheese. Oh, look who decided to pop in. And Travis got some Jersey Nikes. That's so funny. Okay, you ready to eat? Yeah. Daddy. Daddy went to the car. I'm gonna make your plate. Is that for me? Well, it's for us. Me and Winter, we share this, guys. We share. What, what is this? Uh, that's like a potato casserole. Oh, that looks like good. A potato with cheese in it. Have you have you bought stock in this place yet? Because you <laughs> eat it every day. Guys, I am on this eat meat kick or whatever, barbecue, whatever, but I've been coming to this place like two or three times a week and Travis is wondering like what's wrong with me. I have been so addicted to pork ribs lately. I don't know why, but I literally come to this place every, I don't know, two or three days a week. What do you think? Every least, other day? At least two or three days a week. I know guys, I'm trying not to come here anymore. I don't know why I'm so addicted, but the food is so good because it comes with this strawberry glaze. Have you guys ever had strawberry glaze on your ribs? Highly recommend it. All right, guys, look how tender these are. This falls off wrong. Do that again? Mm. Uh, on the other side? Yeah, that part right there. Oh my God, cut the camera off. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm gonna be really weird about eating this now. <laughs> Do it again? Ooh, I like, you know what? I, I like this place. All right, guys, so we just left the barbecue place. I'm not gonna lie, I have a slight addiction to their ribs and their sides. They're so good. I always get the same sides over and over. Tra uh, Travis and I like going there, but he always ends up ordering a sandwich across the road and uh, Winter and I will eat on the barbecue plate together, but it's so good. And honestly, I need to stop going. I'm not gonna lie. I go way too much, uh, way too often. But it's so good. I'm a foodie, and, and so I'm not gonna lie, I'm pretty addicted to food. For whatever reason. But I need to change, I need to change my ways, because now I'm not just addicted to food, I'm addicted to caffeine. Like right now, I'm like, hey, can you go take me to get a cup of coffee? It's 5.52 in the evening. I've got a lot to do tonight, so I was like, give me, give me a little boost, babe. So we're gonna go head over to the coffee shop and get some coffee. Um, I always get frappuccinos. That's like my my staple. I really I really love frozen coffee. I don't drink iced coffee. I, I'm just not an iced coffee person. That, that's I only drink. Well, I don't drink coffee. So if y'all don't know, I've said this 
probably in a lot of our other videos. Yeah. But I haven't said it recently. I do not drink coffee. I'm like one of the few. Mm -hmm. I won't say the few. No, you, you're one of the few. And I don't, I don't eat fish. I mean, how you, the, the two pleasures of life, fish, or I should say seafood and caffeine, which well, is seafood, coffee. Yeah. Coffee and seafood are just, I, can, I don't know if I can live without them. And, and you're just like, yeah. yeah, I hate them. I know, it's weird. It's crazy. I mean, even I think it's crazy. It's one more thing you can't live without. That's you. But we weren't talking about things we couldn't live without. We're just talking about things that I don't know. No, I told you I couldn't live without caffeine. Oh, well, then I should say there's one thing that you can't live without. Well, what's that? Why you place it? Why, why you act like you don't know what I'm talking about? You? Oh. Why you say it like that? <laughs> no. <laughs> you? I, no. <laughs> yes. I can't live without you. That, yeah. I'm, I'm, uh, okay, no, I can't. Uh, uh, no, you're addicting. You're changing it now. I'm addicted to some Travis, guys. I'll tell you that. You Y'all want to know my addiction is to Travis. I can't get enough of you. And even when I have all of you, it's still not enough. That's not that's I not want good. more. Wait, does that even make sense? Okay, let me stop. <laughs> I don't know where this is going. Anyway. Okay, back to caffeine. So we're on our way to get some coffee, um, and I don't know which one I'm going to get yet, but we go to this cool coffee shop. I, I really love supporting like local coffee sh coffee shops. I know everybody is so crazy about Starbucks, and that's great, and that's fine, but i rather support the local coffee shops in the area just because I feel like their competition is Starbucks, and Starbucks is already so big. Starbucks is like everybody's competition. When it comes to getting to coffee? Yeah. It is good though, but I just feel like it's overpriced. Um, and that's coming from someone who goes there regularly. Um, Starbucks? I do, yeah, because no. sometimes like, okay, like, for instance, if you're like in an airport or you're oh, yeah. in, you know, like not a lot of places have local coffee shops, but a lot of, but every, pretty much every place has a Starbucks. <laughs> so you're forced to go there. And so I do go there sometimes, but if I, you if know, I had to choose between going to Starbucks and a local coffee shop, I'm gonna go to a local coffee shop. You know what I just thought about? So we live in Austin. And the Austin airport is kind of unique. They only like like local businesses inside of the, the airport. Mm -hmm. but I just thought about it. There's a Starbucks inside there. There's a Starbucks inside there. How did that happen? Because, because so, they're, they're, all, trying, like, they're, the, they're in a business to make money and Starbucks is so popular. Yeah, but I mean, so, you have to have so, one. So is McDonald's, so is, I mean, everything. Yeah, but it's different when you're talking about getting on an early flight. You need caffeine. Like you, do, you may not need McDonald's, but you need Caffeine. Everybody loves McDonald's coffee. McDonald's is a huge. A, a, a ton of people get McDonald's coffee. Why do you think that is? That Maybe because it's like really cheap. All right, guys. So I got my blended mocha. I got oh blended mocha, add caramel, white chocolate, whipped cream, and I add an espresso shot. What? what how, Look how why, good that looks. Why are you reading it like you're surprised? You're the one that ordered it. Oh. <laughs> You because I, it. I because I told them to give me I, well no I told them to mix a bunch of stuff together no, you like didn't. a bunch you of said flavors specifically I want this no I know this. but but I didn't know well, you know sometimes you'd be surprised what people hear there there's no like <laughs> there's no screen that shows you what you ordered so sometimes they don't get it right sometimes they'll add something I didn't ask for sometimes they'll take off something you're right you never know mm. Mm. yeah oh that's so good oh you want some. <laughs> this added espresso is gonna really help Ooh, me that out. Oh, I think this smells. Oof. I wonder what's up. No, you no. can't have any winter. No, I should be jumping to the roof. I know. No, she no, no. Love, like she literally hit the eject button. <laughs> like bounce right out of this car. And I got my little green tea, my peach green tea. Ooh, peach green tea. But um, anyway, guys, we love you. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, if you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. And always remember, wherever you go, there you are. So what, babe? So make the best out of it, guys. So make the best of it. We love you. And we'll see you guys on the next one.